What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Crazy Clark here and I'm back with another video. This video is a big milestone. It's our stats and everything we've done in game within one month of making a new RuneScape account. For anyone new to the channel and this is your first time seeing it, we made this account on the 29th of January this year and we have been hard grafting around. We've been literally grinding, doing all the quests and there's a bit of a player progression and my thoughts and updates and tips and advice as I go along further and further into the game. I literally stopped playing this game about four years ago on an old account and now I've made a brand new account and I'm starting from scratch and we're going hard in this mofo. So just to show you, I'm at Lumbridge with hands. He's going to now tell me we have had an account for 31 days now. We have spent 13 days, 21 hours and 31 minutes in this game. So in this video, I'm going to go over, show you my stats, show you what I've been doing, what I'm going to be doing this week and the following next week. Because ultimately, what we're trying to do is we want to try and catch all the pets in the game. And that's a big, obviously, point for the video. But for now, these videos will come later. But what we will do is later on the video, I'll reveal all my stats, what I've been doing, the good and the bad, and we'll go from there. So like I say, guys, if you enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up on the video. It'd be much appreciated. And to anybody new out here, Hello and welcome to the Crazy Squad. Let's get into it. Guys, I'm just going to finish off the rest of these steel plates. Uh, I did actually have a lot more, but Rune Light unfortunately crashed on me. So I'm just going to finish off the remainder of these, which obviously, as you can see, the XP, we've nearly got another magic level, which is obviously handy because we need to have 75 magic level minimum to be able to complete every single quest. So while I'm here, I'm just going to finish these off and then I'm going to show you my actual quest points of first so as you can see they're all done now here we actually have 260 quest points which are we have only gone up a few quest points since but if you have a look these are the only quests we actually have remaining the depths of despair uh we haven't actually started the the forsaken tower as you can see we need favor and karen the same for the depths of despair uh, a kingdom divided we wouldn't be able to do till last anyway um, so overall, as you can see, Sins of the Father and A Night at the Theatre. Now, both of these quests, I'm right at the end of both of them, okay? Like, I can literally near enough just complete it. But if anyone's not done A Night at the Theatre, what you have to do is compete in the Theatre of Blood. And you have to fight five bosses that are like 300 like plus in combat. But they're all weak to certain stats. But the issue is, when I first tried to do this quest, I was like maybe 70, level 70 combat. So it was harder for me to actually do any of these things. But I haven't gone back and retried it. But it's so such a con. RuneScape community, meant to be lovely and nice. I'm there at the bank. There's max level combat, one, two, sixes, sitting there. And I go, is there any chance you guys could help me do this quest? They're like, yeah, if you pay me and this guy 8 million. And I was like, I'm not giving you 8 mil. I was like, where's the generosity, huh? Where's helping a noob out? So, yeah, obviously, I will try and attempt that later on. Sins of a Father. As you can see, I'm actually, I need to fight Draken. Now, Draken is obviously quite a high level. He's 400 plus in combat. I tried to fight him twice now. And I can get him to under 200 hit points. And just below 150 on the second attempt. And then I have to teleport out because... I'm just taking too much damage, even trying to like step away, then hit him with the Blisterwood Flail. I will retry it again, but I feel like I may just have to get my stats up just a little bit more. Because when I reveal my stats, you'll probably understand the reason why behind that reason. So, as you can see, we've got 260. We've only got a few mini quests left to do as well. So we're on our way of completing it. I've never ever done the Dragon Slayer and never done the Karen quest. They were never there back in the day when I was playing it. Like, f four years ago, these quests were non-existent. I logged into my old account, and I was missing so, uh, so many red, obviously, quests that I haven't done. So, yeah, that, there's the progress. We've obviously done a few more quests, and we literally have, I think, what, 11, 11 quests left? Some of these, obviously, we could potentially do, like the Karen Favor ones. I could have had them done ages ago, but I thought, you know what, I'll get my stats up first to the minimum requirements to complete the quest, and then we'll go from there. But as you can see, I've run into an issue with obviously the night at the theatre and with the sins of the father. That is currently where we're at with the quest points in regards. The achievement diaries, I've only done the RD up to medium and I've only done Varric medium as well. We're close to completing Lumbridge and Drainer, which I can finish. And we only need a couple more, but I need, I need a higher level hunter, which you'll see very shortly. 
So yeah guys, like I say, it's been 31 days now that we've been playing this, and I have been grafting and grinding away this whole time. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the progress, but I think I was being unrealistic when I thought I could get all the quests done in that time. I mean, I could have, if I give the game gave the game like my full attention span, but you know what it is. Sometimes some of these skills are AFK and you get distracted or you you know you lose concentration and focus, which is inevitable. But yeah, guys, I just thought I would obviously show you where my quest points are at. But what I will do now is I will show you. I'm just going to go and do a quick bird box run, and then afterwards I will show you guys the big reveal of what my stats actually are after a month of playing this game. I've also got to do my farming run, but I'm not going to obviously put this in the video for you guys to see. I'm just going to get my stuff out and ready, what I normally take with me. Bear with me a second. We'll get these all done, chuck this in here, and then it will be time for the final reveal of what my stats are after 31 days playing RuneScape, baby! Drum roll. Did, 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 did. So guys, here we are, back at Lumbridge. I've kitted myself out for this special occasion. After 31 days since we've made a new account, and just under 14 days played with Inside of RuneScape, I can now reveal our final stat. Did, 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 did. There we are. We've got a total level of 1523 with 13.6 mil XP. We've got 70 attack and hit points. We've got 64 mining, 62 strength, 56 agility, 65 smithing, 70 defense, 70 herb lore, 62 fishing, 70 range, 61 thieving, 74 cooking, 72 prayer, 70 craft and 66 fire making, 66 magic, 67 fletching, 66 wood cutting, 56 rune craft and 60 slayer, 74 farming, 70 construction and 62 hunter. So guys, overall, I'm pretty like proud and impressed of what I've actually managed to do in just under obviously two weeks of in-game time of actually playing. I've literally been grafting my arse off, which may not seem obviously are on the outside but i've literally put in so much time and effort into this account to actually try and get it i was really hoping i could get the quest cape done within a month but unfortunately that isn't the case so like i say guys as you can see we're kitted out in d chain d legs d boots barrows gloves an abyssal whip an obby cape an amulet of fury a helm of nezanot and a dragon defender Fun fact the dragon defender actually took me four hours and one minute which is fucking ages but it is what it is, I suppose. You've got to be blessed with the RNG gods to get these things quicker. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you actually got this before my time. Because I know some people, obviously, it does take them a bit longer to get. It roughly can take up to four hours anyway. So, guys, like I say, there are my stats. What This is what my plan is going to be for the remainder of this week. We have 59 skills in total we need to get up, okay? And that is the agility level to 70, mining to 72, smithing to 70... Woodcut to 72, Slayer to 69, Hunter to 70, and Magic to 75, which combined is 59 total skill levels we need to get up. So I'm going to concentrate this week on getting the remainder of my skills up, and then I'm going to do the rest of the quests. As you can see, obviously here, we've got the remainder of the quests left to do, which are just 11. Then I'm going to get all the quests done, and as soon as the quests are done, we can actually go ahead and start hunting the pet for anyone new that i see in the video for the first time i am going to start a pet series and we're going to go after every single pet in the game i have come up with an idea of calling it gotta catch them all like a semi pokemon thing but i might change my mind in due time so you'll just have to wait for the first video to drop so just to give you an update guys the first pet i'll actually be chasing will be the king black dragon okay it's something i'm going to do with a friend of mine we're going to go over we're going to hunt the pet and i'm going to keep going and going no matter how many kills we'll see how long it takes us to actually get this pet drop i have never ever had a runescape pet or 99 skill in my whole entire time of playing this game since 2004 2005 time so it should be something fun that we can try and do guys and that is it that is the final reveal like i say Leave a comment below, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your stats are. Do you think this is impressive? What I've done within a month's time of obviously managing to do this in just under 14 days of playtime inside of RuneScape? Or do you think I could have done better? 
Tell me if you've got any tips and advice that you'd recommend things that I can do to obviously improve my character or things I should try or a pet you would like me to go after first when we first start. Leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. We've had uh, decent views on the last two videos since I made them and I much appreciate it. If you're new, please like and subscribe to the channel. And everyone else, I will see you out there, ladies and gentlemen. But don't forget, do stream live over on Twitch three days a week. It's just twitch.tv forward slash crazy clucky. I'll leave the link in the description. Guys, I love you. Thank you very much for the recent support. I look forward to seeing you all. Crazy Squad. Hey!